Welcome to Booze and Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make two Malibu cocktails, a Malibu Blue and a Malibu Red. Both of these are perfect for hot weather. They're gonna be frosty and you're gonna love them. And what I will do at the end of the video is make sure that I put up recipe cards with the ingredients so that you can write down the ingredients for yourself. Having said that, they're both shaken cocktails, so grab yourself your shaking glasses. And we're going to start with the Malibu Blue. So grab yourself a lime and we'll just roll that to give it a little bit of weakness. So what it'll do is it'll open up all of the pulp inside and allow you to squeeze it better. And we'll start this off with one ounce, which works out to a total of 30 milliliters. And we'll just squeeze it directly into the glass. Now that you've squeezed your entire lime into the glass and one lime will give you about one full ounce, but again, depending on your size of your lime. So once you get that figured out, you'll be good to go. Our next ingredient is going to start with pineapple juice. And for that, I'm using a pure pressed pineapple juice. We're going to use an ounce and a half, which works out to 45 mils. And I used pure pressed unsweetened pineapple juice. The next thing we're going to use is some orange juice and you wanna get something that has no sugar added and I like getting pulp free. We'll use the same amount of an ounce and a half or 45 mils. Your next ingredient is a sweetener and we're going to use some one-to-one -one simple syrup being one part water, one part sugar, heated up till it goes clear and you're good to go. But we're going to use a total of one ounce, which works out to 30 mils. Next, we're going to move into our liqueurs. And we're going to start that with a little bit of an orange liqueur. I'm using Cointreau. You could use something like a triple sec. You don't want something that's color though because you don't really want to affect the color. And for this, we're going to use half an ounce or 15 mils. We're next going to use some white rum. In this case, I'm using Havana Club three-year rum. You could use whatever white rum you want. This is more just to give you a little bit of that rump kick and flavor while actually just boosting the alcohol content. And we're going to use half an ounce or 15 mils. Next, we're going to move to our coconut rum. And for this, as the cocktail name specified, we're using Malibu coconut. Simple, easy, and you know what? Tastes fantastic. And we're going to use a full pour of two ounces or 60 mils. Now we're going to make this blue. And for that, we're going to use blue curacao. This is of course going to give us some orange flavors and it's gonna give us the color that we're looking for. And when you look at this, you're not gonna get a full blue. You just have to remember you're gonna have a slight greenish tint to it. And we'll use a total of one ounce or 30 mils. So what we'll do now is we will put this off to the side and what I'll do is I will shake it in a couple of minutes. I just wanna shake them both at the same time. That way one doesn't get over diluted. Now, in your next shaking glass, you're gonna grab yourself two limes because you need a total of an ounce and a half. And for that, we'll actually have to measure that out. So what you wanna do, just grab yourself a jigger or your measuring thing. And what we'll do is we will squeeze it and then pour it directly into the glass. Your second ingredient, again, is orange juice. Now, what you wanna do is just make sure you get something that's unsweetened. Use whatever your favorite brand is. And we're going to use a total of two ounces or 60 mils. Your third ingredient is going to be cranberry juice. And I'm using Ocean Spray 100% juice blend. Uh, you can just sort of adjust the flavor of your cocktail by using something that could be like a cran raspberry or something like that, totally up to you. But we'll use the same amount of two ounces or 60 mils. Next, we're going to continue to increase the red factor by using some grenadine. Now I'm using some Rose's grenadine. However, if you wanna use something whole made, you're gonna get a darker color. And this is where you're going to get the main sweetness from the cocktail. And we're going to use one ounce or 30 mils. Next, we need some passion fruit flavors. So we're going to use a passion fruit liqueur and I'm using Elise. And this is not a high ABV version of it. So we're going to use a total of an ounce and a half or 45 mils. Your next ingredient is going to be the white rum of your choice. And again, I'm using Havana Club for this. Use whatever you want, simple, easy. And you don't need a lot. Again, we're just boosting the alcohol and a couple of the flavors with half an ounce or 15 mils. After we have the rum, we have one more ingredient, and that of course will be Malibu coconut. 
and we're going to use a full pour, which works out to two ounces or 60 mils. Now that we have all of our ingredients together, what we're going to do is shake these with some ice. And there is a lot of fluid in both of these cocktails. So what you wanna do is grab both of your tins and we're going to put the ice directly in here. And I'm just going to use about a scoop of crushed ice. I don't wanna use a lot because all we're really doing right now is we're just chilling this down. I said about a scoop, it's all stuck to the inside. And we don't wanna uh, uh, overly dilute this. It's just a matter of basically chilling with a little bit of dilution. Make sure they're on good grab them both and then give them a shake. All right, so now that you've done that, just pop these off to the side. And what you wanna do is actually get yourself a couple of tall pint glasses, or in this case, some hurricane glasses. And what we'll do is we will fill the, uh, water. Uh, we'll fill these all the way up with ice because what you will do is you will get a little bit of uh, melting as well when we pour the cocktail in. And so don't be stingy with your ice. Grab yourself a strainer and we'll start with our Malibu Red. All right, now that you've got your Malibu Red, grab yourself your Malibu Blue and do the exact same thing. And that looks more green than it does blue. However, having said that, now what we'll do is we'll just add a little bit more crushed ice to the top, and you are going to have a little bit more Malibu in each of your containers. So if you want to use a slightly bigger glass or give yourself two of each as slightly smaller, go for it. So grab yourself a pair of straws, and away you go. Here you have a Malibu red and a Malibu blue. That really looks green. But hey, you have a fantastic day.